bala bala bosa le vagazori andi keros ka adi bra talandi le kapariata yanto bara asata yaza vakata yaza vagata ye pakaro shandele mahata re kapariante lazi ba antoriata le kota payate ira paru jabandari akapa e kapariadosa la banda se gazo gaza e ge faru jabradisa e le kapariate e la pasata shandala bai le gavaru shaba yaradoski yaradoski kefrados kata rapaluriande sevaza sevaza le gavaso tabahaya ila banduria kata rakapaliata rakapaliata ila pariata shabalaba rapaba sebabariadi le gavaso brande ikara pariata ratalibo shaba ikapariado shandi le baba sabali baza yavaza commit this very service into the hand of god we are saying the lord this morning we are living with an encounter everything that will happen is a blessing to us in the name of jesus we pray committing every ministration coming on to the, the, you this morning we are praying that god will use the servants of god god will use every single person upon this pulpit to be a blessing unto us lift up your voice and pray karabosha the word of god will come to transform us in the name of jesus in the name of the lord jesus we are praying that lord the lord will bring every single person that is supposed to be here this morning in the name of jesus through the mighty act of the holy ghost in the name of jesus that no one we supposed to be here will miss this divine encounter in the name of jesus Arabashata. Lega fasa talaba, randa vaga talaba, raga dosa ta, ila bari ande shale vereba, rado zavala, rado zavara, ya kavale baha, inde bari zete, ele kaparia, rapalori an talaba, ya kaparia, ya kaparia pa, ela pariata, rapali ande lebosha, mighty divine encounter that they will come in their presence, in your presence, all, oh, all oh, this morning in the name of jesus lavara bashata raka palabaya indara basata now i'm praying by the spirit that you may receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation that you may receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation that you may receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of the lord this morning in the name of jesus pray that the spirit of wisdom and revelation will be given us we will it will come to you by the spirit you will have that encounter through the spirit by understanding through the holy ghost in the name of the lord jesus amen hallelujah amen it's a time of worship we have come before our king before the one who says a thing and does it and this morning i want you to have a heart full of gratitude a heart full of worship and 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 and, and just fix your eyes on him just fix your eyes on jesus fix your eyes bible says looking on to jesus the author and the finisher of our faith i want you to look up to him lay aside every cares of this life lay aside everything that has troubled you throughout the week and just fix your gaze on him 
and let your hearts be full of thanksgiving come on come on give him thanks just open your mouth give him thanks give him thanks give him thanks appreciate him for who he is for what he has done for you the things that you cannot see with your eyes the things that he has delivered you from the what he has provided that you might not have seen lord the deliverances the preservation the protection give him thanks give him thanks give him thanks the fact that we are counted among the living this morning and alive and strong and here we thank you even in our weakness we thank you even in sickness we thank you even when we don't have oh god all that we have desired for we thank you mali masoda make a day mali kaba through the pain we thank you in everything we thank you lord it is good to give thanks to the lord most high marika for this is your will that we give you thanks that we give you thanks we give you thanks lord masali let thanksgiving rise up to him now let thanksgiving rise up to the king let thanksgiving rise up to him Matching Papa, matching Papa, meeting Wagi. Ah, we bravo. Matching Papa, matching Papa. Let's sing it now, meeting Wagi. Let's give it all to him now. We bear my papa, my papa. One shame from soul, hey, and in the end, one mad part, I see me boom, I know pay you, come on now, you can lift up your hands to him, Shaming from soul <laughs> and in the end, one mad pan. I see me be old. Woman, and twenty, yeah, they are. Yeah, they bravo. Yeah, they papa. Yeah, they papa. Yeah, they. It's your testimony. What my name was? Yeah, my 
Kopo, Oa Mami, Oa, Mima, Wabo, Wama, the Pachimia, Mima, Wabo, Wama, Masoya, Mima, Mokamo, Ago, Sonya, Kopo, Mima, Wabo. Fata Monti Name de Mao Midi Mao Midi Mao Fata Monti Name de Mao Come on, join us in Midi Mao
Otina hingwa kwa kuni so ye na no ni ihoa se so abofo to nyum de kwa 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 Otina hingwa kwa kwa ni so Otina hingwa We lift you up this morning, oh God There is no God like you Inna no ni Iho wa se So abofo tonyo se Wa tonyo se Kwa 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 Come on, join the angels, lift up the name of the Lord right now. Lift him up now. Lift him up now. Lift him up now. Mako Shakaria. We join the angels of God and say, Holy, holy are you, Lord. Masakados, Kadianos, and Madiba. Menelemos, Sariate, Marekanos, Ate, Barianos. Holy are you, Lord. Holy. Oh 
is a land. Amen. 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 It is so worthy of you, God. Amen. It is so you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are holy. You are mighty. You are mighty. Let songs rise up to him. You are mighty. You are mighty. You are holy. 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 You are holy, Lord. Hanusha. Bale Manosha. Bikale Balosha. Zale Manosha. Timon Shenwe Nyonya Nyonya Mimo Shenwe Nyonya Omon Mon Shenwe Nyonya And Nyonya Mimo my and mercy of life more my and more on in in your yam in in more more than when you yam more my yam more my yam more my yam more more my yam more my more who never come forever he can see eh and your yam in in all more my yam more my yam than when you yam. La la la, only me come for where I can see you. La 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 la, no sense when you're not. Ah, and you're not in it no. Oh, no sense when you're not. No my sense when you're not. La 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 la, no. Hey, no sense when you're not. All glory be ascribed unto you, God. All glory be ascribed unto you. We lay our crowns before you. We lay our crowns before you. All glory. All glory. All the glory must be given unto you, for you are worthy of our praise. No man on earth should give glory to himself. All the glory must be to you, Lord. We give you glory. We appreciate you, Lord. Let's give a clap of ring and adore him. Let's adore him. Let's adore him. Let's adore him. Let's magnify him with a shout. Let's magnify the King of Kings with a shout. Magnify the King of Kings with a shout. Kabos. Lift up your voices with praise. Lift up your voices with praise. Hallelujah. Amen. And send a word of greeting to a brother and sister. Hallelujah. Greet a brother and sister by you. Come on. Jesus, you're my king. Jesus, you're my king. 
your life is made the same. I will praise you all my days. I will praise you all my days. You're perfect in all your ways. Hey, tell Jesus you're my Lord. Tell Jesus you're my Lord. I will obey your word. I will obey your word. I want to see your kingdom come. No, my will but yours be done. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the take us into the land. You take us into the land. You build the king in your name. And proclaim that Jesus reigns. Come on. Oh, hail, hail the light of Judah. How wonderful you are. Hail, hail the light. How wonderful you are! Oh, hail Jesus, you're my King. Your life is me to save. I will praise you all my days. Perfect in all your ways. Oh, glory, glory to the Lamb. You will take us into the land. We will, land. We will conquer in your name. Your name. Now my will be yours be done. Glory, glory to the land. Glory, glory to the land. You will take us into the land. Take us into the land. We will conquer in your name. Proclaim that Jesus reigns. Hail, hail the line of Judah. How wonderful you are. Hail, hail the line of Judah. How powerful you are. Hail, hail the line of Judah. Wonderful you are. Hail, hail the line of Judah. How wonderful you are. How powerful you are. How wonderful you are. How powerful you are. How wonderful you are. Come on, clap now. Hey. To magnify, I just came to praise you. I just came to magnify. You've been good, you've been good, so good. Come on now.
Are you ready to praise the Lord, the King of Kings now? We want to declare that He comes in His might, in His power. He is lifted up. He is lifted up. Behold, He comes riding on the clouds, shining like the sun. At the trumpet calls, lift your voice. It's a year of Jubilee. Zion's hill salvation Behold he comes Sing it now Riding on the cloud At the trumpet call Lift your voice It's the year of Jubilee Adam Zion's hill salvation We sing now These are the days of Elijah Declaring the word The days of the servant Moses, righteousness being restored. And these are the days of the trials of famine and darkness and sore. So we are the voice in the desert, quietly declaring the name. Come on now, come on now, before we sing now.
cause you alone deserve it. We give you all the glory, we give you all the praise, we give you all the glory, and you alone. Come on, we give you all the glory. Come on now, we give you all the glory. You alone deserve We give you all We give you all the praise We give you all the praise You alone Come on, hallelujah Hallelujah Sing it now Hallelujah Hallelujah You alone deserve Come on now, we give you all the praise, you alone, we give you all the glory, we give you all the praise, we give you all the praise, you alone, come on, hallelujah, 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 you alone, hallelujah. Shout is all you can do. I think you can do better. Give the Lord a glorious shout. David says something in the book of Psalms. He says that my soul has escaped like a bird. <laughs> I don't know if you have ever gone for trapping animals before, but I've been in the bush before. I come from a village, so I know how it is. If you set a trap, let's say you are looking for a rabbit somewhere and you set a trap and the rabbit escapes that trap. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Some of us here, we are here this morning because we have escaped one trap somewhere. I don't know what you can do to glorify God. What you can do to glorify God. Give the Lord a shout. Number two, he said that in his presence there is fullness of joy. In his presence there is liberty. Liberty means that you have freedom to shout. Liberty means that you have freedom to jump. Liberty means that you have freedom to do whatsoever will glorify the Lord. Give the Lord a shout. The book of Acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 2 we say that and when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly somebody say suddenly Acts chapter 16 verse 26 the Bible say and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately and immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bound once band were loose i prophesy in this meeting that there's going to be a sudden happening in your life your amen is not alive i said there's going to be a sudden manifestation shout i receive it i manifest it on this note i want you to sit down in the heavenlies with your sweet smart selves grace to you Grace abounds in this service. You walk in higher empowerment. Amen. Amen. On behalf of the leadership of the house, I want to specially welcome you all. You are looking good, smart, powerful. Turn to somebody and tell the person you are looking awesome. We have a lot of ministrations in the house. Amen. 
but here we believe in god's word so I, I, in the midst of all the ministrations we receive we crown it all with god's word amen but before god's word come we have other powerful ministrations you want to be enjoying in this ah you want to open yourself up whatsoever they're going to do here look at it with the eyes of the spirit and i believe there is a message in it for you and me in this service with joy and excitement let's receive the ministration of the life theater after them then the new life choir will follow suit oh celebrate them that is a gift of the house How many know he's so worthy? I love Jesus. I really love him. The spirit of worship is a very unusual thing because if you're selfish, you can't worship God. And on top of that, a worshiper doesn't have to always come into the presence of the Lord asking him for anything because a worshiper knows in whom they believe the Bible said he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder to those that diligently seek him so it doesn't matter if I have a problem the one that I'm worshiping is a problem solver I'm just looking for my worshipers. That's why I'm talking. A worshiper recognizes this. Is that I've gone to the next level of faith that says. If God doesn't work it out the way I thought he should have. I know he's got a better way. Because he said. I will do exceedingly. Oh you didn't hear that. Apparently the way you asked him to do it was too low. Because he said when I finally do it for you. I'm going to do exceedingly and abundantly above all you can ask or think according to the power that worketh in you and what is that power? it's the power to worship him it's the power to worship him when you can't trace him when you don't know what he's doing you still count him to be worthy somebody just lift your hands up Come on, Dr. Penny.
Slap your hands to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And look to your neighbor and say, I will rise. I will rise and build. Hallelujah.
He was a prophet, he was a prophet of all. When he had all the broken walls of Jerusalem, come on, Bible says he fasted and he prayed to the God of heaven. He fasted. That the walls of Jerusalem should be built to the glory of the Lord. Then it pleased the King, yeah. That the walls of Jerusalem should be built to the glory of the Lord. Then King Sambalat, then King Tobiah. Who just hates all the words of the Lord? My brethren, my prayer is none of us here present will be some lads in the house of the Lord. But Nehemiah stood up, Nehemiah stood up here in the power, in anointing of the Holy Ghost. Nehemiah stood up. Nehemiah stood up here in the power, in anointing of the Holy Ghost, saying, God of heaven, he will prosper you when die. So arise, 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 and let us give. My God of heaven, he will prosper you when die. So arise, arise, arise. Let us build our dismay, oh boy, yeah. oh boy. Let your money move, let your money move. Oh, me and your mate, oh boy, yeah. oh boy. Let your money move, let your money move. Oh, hey, then came somebody. Who just hates all the words of the Lord? Come on, my brethren. My prayer is none of us here present will be some lot in the house of the Lord. Nehemiah stood up, Nehemiah stood up here in the power, in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Nehemiah stood up. Nehemiah stood up here in the power, in anointing of the Holy Ghost. Adish may to boy, hey to boy, let your money be ready, let your money be ready. Oh, to boy, hey to boy, let your money be ready, let your money be ready. Me down to me, so boy, so boy, it's your money, Marini, it's your money, Marini, was so, and you're no me, so boy, so boy, it's your money, Marini, it's your money, Marini, was so, hey, let's stand for the Lord. Let's pray to save our home. Let us all pray for our nation. With oneness of mind, yeah, and oneness of heart, yeah. Let us arise in might and do the work. Oh boy, yes, oh boy, yes, oh boy. Yes, oh boy. Yes, oh boy. Yes, oh boy. Oh, 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 oh,
Excellencies, please let us make here for this week's announcement. Our Better Life broadcast airs every weekday on Ultimate 106.9 FM from 5 a.m. to 5:25 a.m. On Spirit 88.3 FM from 6:15 a.m. to 6:30 a.m. On Orange 107.9 FM from 5.30 a.m. to 5.45 a.m. And on this 90.3 FM in Ashanti, Bekwai, it is from 11 a.m. to 11.15 a.m. every Tuesdays to Fridays. Make it a commitment to tune in and invite friends and loved ones to also do the same. Our discovery service, which is our midweek service, comes of this in every Wednesday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in all our Kumasi churches. Let us make it a commitment to come along with someone to the service. Our Excel service comes of this in every Saturday morning from 7 a.m. to 7.45 a.m. It is strictly virtual on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Let us all make time to be part of the service and invite other people to do so. The last session of our special eight weeks of Operation Fill the Room Outreaches will be this Saturday, 30th July, 2022. There will be morning and evening sections. Morning sections, 8.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. Evening sections, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. We are all encouraged to make time and be part of any of the sessions this Saturday. Next week's Sunday service is our good news service, which doubles as a dress down service. Let us all come and join in any of our ELC t shirts. At the headquarter church, service will be at 8 30 a.m. And at the branches, it will be at 8 a.m. Invite someone and come along with them for a blessed time. All members are encouraged to take time and clock in for attendance at the entrance to the auditorium lobby area before you come in to take your seat for service. Being an Air Force partner through your generous financial commitment makes it possible to reach many people with the good news of the kingdom for their salvation and better life in Christ through our broadcast. Every member who has not yet seized this golden opportunity by signing up should pick up a commitment form after service from the Air Force desk. All Air Force partners are reminded to redeem their monthly Air Force pledges either at the Air Force Dex or through electronic payments. Give your tithe, first fruit, or any other seed electronically via Embassy of Life mobile money account displayed on the screen. Subscribe and listen to Oseya Afuakwa audio podcast and receive wisdom for impactful living from our father, Pastor Oseya Afuakwa. 
The podcast can be accessed on the podcast app for Apple devices, Google Podcasts, and Podcast Addict app for Android devices. Also, recommend the podcast to friends and loved ones. All members who intend to get married in the first quarter of this year are reminded to send marriage notifications to the Family Life Unit. For further information, such persons can contact Elder Ankama or Pastor Ope after service. Those of us at the branches should contact your branch pastors for more information. Please, anybody in possession of a mobile phone should either put it off or on flight mode before the ministration of the word of god all those who celebrated their birthdays this week will be prayed for by our man of god before the word ministration thank you your excellencies for your attention be blessed in this service hallelujah i thought you were clapping well for the lord amen It's a joy and excitement, a great opportunity for us to have our grandfather in the house. Amen. Amen. Grandpa, you're welcome. And we have our mother and our father too. Amen. Oh, celebrate them. That's Amen. That's our own. Amen. 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 All right. This is addition to the announcement. Um there are some that come with a seed, whatever seed you, you come here with, whether tight, whether um, uh, any form of seed you come with, write it at the back with your name so that the accounts office will be able to detect what the, the seed is for. Amen. Amen. We have Thanksgivings in the house. <laughs> Our dear sister, Dickiness Dr. Michelle Beisiwa, Beisiwa Sam. Is thanking God for adding another year to her life today. She is saying to God, Thank you for the next big chapter of my life. Thank you that I walk in your perfect will for my life. Amen. Amen. Secondly, we have another Thanksgiving, Mr. and Mrs. De Graft Amankwa are also thanking God for five years of marital bliss. With me here is a Thanksgiving envelope from our brother Dickin Enoch Ousu Mensa for deliverance from uh, vehicle accident. <laughs> amen. This is the doing of the Lord and it's marvelous in our Amen. Now this morning we are not gathered here alone as a headquarter church. We are gathered here with all our big, big branches across all the globe here. Amen. Oh, I thought you would celebrate it. <laughs> Amen. We have the um, IPT branch here with us. Let's acknowledge their presence. We also have um, Kwamo branch here with us. Let's acknowledge their presence. We also have Pechi branch here with us. Let's acknowledge your presence. We also have our great Accra church also hooked up online with us. And at large, we have our global ambassadors who are hooked up with us online. Let's celebrate them. On this note, we especially welcome everyone who is hooked up with us online. If it's your first time, my father will say, stay tuned and stay true, and your life will never be the same. I know that for sure. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We still have another ministration in the house. Amen. Can we celebrate the gift of God as we welcome the new life choir? Oh, celebrate them. Grace to you. Grace abounds. Hallelujah. I'm excited this morning. I don't know whether because one, I think one because I'm in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And two because my grandfather is in the house. Come we put our hands together for the Lord. Yes. 
Can we celebrate God for the choir? That was a beautiful ministration. Can we celebrate God? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, O oh God.
Ta fiancée. Et ça. abounds power for life and godliness it's an awesome time to be in god's presence amen god declares the end from the beginning that's why we can confidently say he said it and it is done amen, amen. praise the lord if you worship me with us for the very first time once again we want to welcome you into this our special good news service with my my spiritual father it's going to be an awesome time like pastor sammy said earlier we want to join you those of you who are joining us online stay tuned and stay through and your life will certainly not be the same again. God richly bless you. Let's put our hands together once again and acknowledge all our ambassadors at large. God richly bless you for making time. Participate in everything we are going to do today and God will reach you where you are. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. This morning, Daddy is in our midst and then Mr. Isel too is in our midst. Let's put our hands together and welcome them or we'll, we'll acknowledge them in due season. Amen. Dickness uh, Charlotte and her husband, five years of marital grace. Come, let's pray for you. Where are they? Come, 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 come. I think the ushers are looking nice. Maybe we should clap for the ushers also. They are looking very nice. Yeah. I like your combination. It's nice. Praise the Lord. All right, new down here. Let's stretch our hands towards them and release grace for them. They are five years and there's a journey ahead. Amen that it shall be celebration upon celebration there will be 20 years there will be 15 years there will be 30 years there will be 50 years as long as the lord remains grace to stay together grace to enjoy this union together shall be theirs. let's open our mouth i'm going to pray for them Reko te kali bahanda zabradi vahabo sekerebeh reka to kelebre hedebo sabradi ava. We thank you, Spirit of God. You're able to make all grace abound. Let the grace to take this marriage to its full end rest upon their lives. Let the years ahead of them be better than the years past. Let them grow in understanding. Let them grow in deeper love one for another. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Above all, make them a model of what a Christian marriage looks like. We give you praise. We give you glory. That there will be an example for all. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Alright. The Lord bless you. Congratulations. The Lord bless you. Take your seat. Those of you celebrated your birthdays in the course of this week. Could you please stand on your feet. Let me pray with you. Celebrated your birthday in the course of this week. Wow. A number of you. Oh, Oshes, you celebrated your birthday, right? Okay. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the life of these ones. Your word declares that with long life, you will satisfy us. We pray that these ones will not just live long, but they will live purposeful lives. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. That with long life, they will fulfill their destinies. Thank you, Spirit of God, for the life of purpose. Just like Paul said, I have finished my course, I've kept the faith. At the end of their lives, may they boldly say, I've finished my course and I've kept the faith. In Jesus' precious name, shout a better amen. amen. Shout a believing amen. amen. All right, so if you brought your tight uh, here, step forward with it. Let's receive it before we get into the other session of the service. If you brought your tight, step forward quickly. Step forward quickly. Step forward quickly. 
quickly, 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 quickly. Amen. All right. That that's same goes for Accra Church. So those of you who are in Accra Church, if you brought your tithe, step forward with it. Let's receive it. Lord, we thank you today. We bless you. We honor you because you are the one who did not spare your own son. And you gave him freely unto us. And you have promised that with him also, you will freely give us all things. Lord, we bring our tithes as an expression of faith in that promise. Thank you, Spirit of God, that with Christ, all things are ours. We receive them by faith in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. All right, go ahead and drop your seed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Those of you who made commitment into Air Force will be receiving them at the end of the service. Amen. If you brought, like Pastor Samuel was announcing, if you brought any Air Force redemption, make sure that you write your name at the back. Amen. So that we can be able to distinguish that. That's it. So you don't receive any uh, alert message reminding you of anything. Amen. Okay. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 to 3. Ecclesiastes, I'll read from the New International Version. The Bible said there's a time for everything. Somebody say time for everything. And a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to pl plant, a time to uproot, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build. Somebody say a time to build. Time to build. Say a time to build. Time. Say it three times with faith. A time to build. A time to build. Amen. Praise the Lord. The ultimate builder is God. The Bible said every house is built by some man, but he that builds all things is God. And God does not build in a vacuum. God builds through men. Praise the Lord. So God is going to build his house and he's going to build it through us. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. So uh, daddy will be on shortly. But before he comes, Mr. Isel. Kofi Eselapia is here. He's the architect who designed a uh, building that we are here to build. And we want to receive him to bring us a short message before that he comes. Let's put our hands together for Mr. Isel. Hello, church. Um, it's always an honor to stand in this very secret place and address this congregation. Um, it's an honor to lead in the building of his sanctuary. And I'm here just to share and encourage everybody to be part of this vision. We're going to build in Kumasi um, the finest contemporary church building in this land. We're going to set a standard because our God is excellent. And we must exude that excellence in everything that we do. Um, a lot of times these buildings go a long way to affect generations and generations of people who come into the building and be ministered to. And once you are part of that story, you also reap the benefits of that story. We are going to a bigger place. We are going to a better place. We are going to a place which will take easily ten times what we are taking right now. So more souls will be brought to Christ. Amen. We are talking about an auditorium which has a capacity to handle up to 2,000 people for one session. And so doing two sessions just gives you an idea of how the city can be impacted. We want to set a standard which is commensurate with what God expects from us. Our God is good and he says he will build his church and the gates of hell will not prevail we don't want to be like the song said we don't want to be sambalats and tobiases and so on and so forth but we want to have that Nehemiah spirit and i like that i like what pastor said seeing the end and that's what we normally do as architects we saw the end and now we're going to start to develop the end. I pray that you come with me and we'll do this. God will give us strength Amen. to build this house to his glory. Thank you very much, Pastor. And I 
testify that you are able. Yes, I'm born in me, much more than I can ever think. Yes, Amen. Praise the Lord. The best is yet to appear. <laughs> Amen. All right. So that is here. Amen. Yes. And uh, he's 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 been he's been there at every strategic moment. Amen. I remember the very first week of uh, the first month of church. He came to town. The first year, I think. The first year he came to town. And then walked through when we were three or four. I think we were just about eight at the time. And since then, he's been around. Praise God. And every time he comes, God uses him to push us into a strategic phase of a church. This is a very significant phase of a church. Praise God. Yeah, this is a very significant. Last week, I was telling you, it is a memorial time. The Bible says that. The Lord God of heaven will prosper you and I. So we, his servants, will arise. Then he says, but you have no right or heritage or a memorial in Israel. Amen. It's a moment where we are raising a memorial unto our God. And we are raising a memorial that nations will come to celebrate. Praise the Lord. And I encourage everyone to fully participate and be a part of what God is doing. Amen. Daddy is here. He is my spiritual father. He's, he's shaped my life in many ways, guided me in ministry for many years. Amen. I've known him for a very long time, been close to him for a very long time. And the more I know him, the more I get close, the greater my respect and honor for him. Amen. He's a man whom God has used tremendously. He's done what we've, we, are, we are trying to do before. Praise God. Uh -huh. So, he is the right man to inspire us, challenge us, and show us how it can be done. Praise the Lord. And we want to uh, receive him today as he comes to minister to us. There will be a video introduction after which the voice you hear will be the voice of my spiritual father. Let's uh, now get ready for the video introduction. Media. God, after saving you and granting you healing and protection he cuddles you like a baby love loving kindness some of you nobody has ever done you good before but now that you are born again check it out god will do you good reverend dixon to foster is the senior pastor of the international central gospel church icgc jesus temple kofor 
in the eastern region of Ghana. He serves as a member of the Presbytery of ICGC and also the regional overseer of all ICGC churches in the eastern region. Reverend Dixon Tufo Sapon is an experienced minister of the gospel with 37 years of rich ministry behind him. He got born again in 1979 while attending Asamankesi Secondary School. After completing his secondary education, he spent four years in rural evangelism from 1983 to 1987. He joined ICGC in 1987. In 1988, he enrolled for his pastoral training at ICGC Ministerial Training School in Accra and graduated in December of the same year. He was ordained on 30th December 1990 as a Reverend Minister of ICGC by Pastor Mesa Otabel. Reverend Dixon Tufo Sapon has over the years attended diverse training programs in Ghana, the United States, the United Kingdom and a missions training conference in Thailand among others. He took over the leadership of the ICGC Koforidia Assembly in 1994 after assisting Reverend Owusu Treko for six years. He also serves as the chairman of the missions committee of ICGC. Reverend Dixon Tufo Sapon is a pastor and a Bible teacher by calling. He teaches the word of God with simplicity and deep insight. He is a regular speaker at ICGC conferences and an adjunct lecturer at the Daniel Institute a Christian seminary and a global leadership institute established by ICGC. He has ministered extensively in the United Kingdom, Europe, and the United States of America. His life and ministry has greatly impacted the lives of many. He has a vibrant media ministry called The Shepherd's Voice, which has run on the radio for 20 years. He has also authored four books, namely Foundations of Christian Maturity, Negotiating for More, Divine Lessons for Promotion, and How to Respond to Life's Challenges. Reverend Dixon Tufo Sapon is joyfully married to his dear wife, Lady Lucy Sapon, and they are blessed with four adult children, Seth, Rejoice, Joy, and Jude. Ladies and gentlemen, with a standing ovation and a rousing welcome, let us receive the ministry of Reverend Dixon to full service. Actually, don't like introductions, but your pastor has done it. He had to go to all the corners and get all the necessary uh, whatever. But thank you very much. I really uh, I try not to say it loud for anybody to hear. But uh, sons and daughters, some, they push themselves to a certain level that you just can't do anything but to say, the son is different. Thank you. And God bless you. Amen. Please, let's take our seat in the presence of God. So once again, thank you for the invite, you and your wife. Very, very close. We talk most of the time. And uh, I still remember those days when the church began. I mean, he was first in Koforidia. You know, I used to come and preach at CCF. I left them for a very long time until only yesterday I, I had to be there to speak to them. At that time, at a point, he was the president, so he used to invite me a lot. And uh, later did I know that God was going to use him to do something marvelous. In those days when he tried to start something in Kofodia, I remember I met him on the, on the way. Determination, very slim. <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure he was seeing top. He wasn't seeing top the, th the work he was doing, you know. And uh, 
he allowed the Lord to lead him. You know, that's some of the mistakes we make. The location is very important. He wasn't supposed to be in Koforidia. So God brought him here and established him. And so when I came to preach, there was no way I was going to go. I passed by just a few people in that classroom. And this is what the Lord is doing. Even this very place, even this very place, the Lord prophesied us into this place. And uh, the time is up. It's time to build. And uh, you don't have to build anything less in terms of beauty than what we built 10 years ago. I moved to my temple 10 years ago. And uh, I told him I'll give him one of the best we have in Africa. And so I brought him the same architect in the person of Mr. Kofi Isel. Thank you very much. I think now they are more close than me, but I accept it for the sake of the season. After the season, we'll, we'll change it. I, I thought 50-50, I never knew he was going to be present, but thank you very much for coming. How did you find what you saw? Ebeni baby ao. Yes. You know ever since we Jesus temple was built even my life has changed. I was there I was there when I had a call that the president wants to come to your church. And I say this today a president will visit this temple. They have nowhere going. They will come. It keeps on almost all the time. Ghana Bar Association, their service just about a week ago. All lawyers and doctors. and You think they will go to classroom? They won't. They, and they won't come here. Let's build and let's attract them and let's push Christ into them. Amen. I remember doing my PowerPoint on stewardship and the president and his vice just kept clapping throughout the whole 30 minutes of delivery and they requested for the message to be sent to them. And so we did it and packaged them to them. You may not understand what we are doing until it is done. The, the, the kingdom of God is supposed to be on top of the mountain where everybody will see and the Bible says that they will run into it. We are not supposed to put our candle under bushel or build in obscure places and things that does not bring glory to God but things that blow the minds of God. Do you know that just this structure alone can win souls. Yes. Just a structure. You pick a taxi driver in Kofodi and say, I saw you with the Enua Nameba. Enua Nameba. I have people coming almost every week. They pack their cars. I say, Hey, for the Jahon. I say, I'm going to be sorry. Especially when we finish with the ceiling. He's always been promising me, Pastor, you wait. I will give you some ceiling. And the ceiling we have now. There is no church. Maybe just one church in Ghana. One, one of the best. Because he always comes with the best. And I want to, I'm going to share shortly. And then I'll ask you to give money. We hear Metwana as the same I had in my heart that this song should be sung today. Arise and build. When, when I came and the lady was singing it and she did it excellent. <laughs> Amazing. So, we are on the right frequency and uh, 
keep these pictures. Don't let it go out now. It shouldn't be on the social media. It will only be on the social media when the thing is there and people can go and take their pictures. You know. We have people coming to our church always. You know, my big now group will be no more big crap picture now. Then the uh, the the security will come here and say, leave them. Now if I know Mukocha photo, Mukocha, we cry in New Year, and I'm going to finish up everything, and we want to have this thing built, and it will be done in record time. Amen. Amen. When we're going to build. I didn't mean, uh, there was no millionaire in the church. Oh. And there's still no millionaire. And sometimes God doesn't need millionaires. He needs people like you. And we will do it. We will surprise ourselves. And we will be happy. At the, when I'm finishing, I will tell you a few testimonies of the people who gave to build that church. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father, let the entrance of your word bring us life and light and illumination. Speak to us in the best way you always do. Grant us wisdom, inspiration, and understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise God. I'm speaking on what I have titled, Build Him a House. Build Him a House. A house. Build him a house. Turn your Bibles with me to Luke 7. We'll be reading 1 to 10. Luke 7. The Gospel of Luke. So look at Luke. Now when he concluded all his sayings in the hearing of the people. Talking about jesus christ he entered capernaum and a certain centurion's servant who was dear to him was sick and ready to die hmm. and when he heard about jesus he sent elders of the jews to him pleading with him to come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they begged him earnestly, saying that the one for whom he should do this was deserving, for he loves our nation and has built us a synagogue. Then Jesus went with them. And when he was already not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying to him, Lord, do not trouble yourself. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Therefore, I did not even think myself worthy to come to you, but say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I'm also a man placed under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes. And to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him and turned around and said to the crowd that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. And those who were sent, returning to the house, found the servant well who had been sick. May God add his blessing upon the reading of his word. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. First of all, let me tell you something about Capernaum. Capernaum is where these great people, uh, Peter, Matthew, and uh, his brother, that's where they come from. Jesus used to go there a lot, you know, and he did a lot of miracles in that place. 
that place was a barracks town like Bema camp or Afenia where you go and there are a lot of soldiers you have a place like that in Kumasi what's the name of that place what for being a place like that so where the Bible says you see customs officials and people now a centurion is a soldier a commanding officer in charge of hundred people or more and in this barracks town because of uh, the kind of thing they were doing they had a lot of soldiers and uh, commanding officers normally the Roman soldiers, and he was a Roman, they hate each other. The Romans hate the Jews, and the Jews hate the Romans, because the, the Romans were ruling them at that time. So, they don't see eye to eye at all. But, this guy was different. According to the testimonies that were said about him, that he loved their nation. He was a, a totally different person. And uh, let's move on to see what happened. Big man. Influential. Blessed. He had a dear servant. According to the Bible, the servant was so dear to him. And the servant was sick and about to die. And this man says, no, I can't allow you to die. It's a very simple lesson we can learn here. If you are serving anybody, you have to serve them that they wouldn't want you to even die. You must catch the heart of your master. Don't serve people and leave pain in their heart when you are dying they will allow you to die oh yes i mean do you know there are some people when they are dying right now their mothers will allow them to die their fathers their their uncles their bosses will allow them to die because they are causing pain look at somebody and say catch the heart of the one you are serving we all serve people I serve under the total. It is evil for the one you are serving to always be receiving pain from you. Pain. Everything he hears about you is painful. No. When you are dying, they will allow you to die. But this servant has a positive influence on his master. A Roman soldier, positive influence. Can you imagine that the man had to send a contingent of Jews and say, go and see this rabbi, this healer. Tell him that my, my servant is dying, but I cannot allow this guy to die. So I want us to watch the scenario. Jesus was there. And a contingent came. Watch this carefully. And they said, we came here because of the army commander. Or maybe the regional commander. We came here because of him. Jesus says, mm -hmm, I'm listening. We beg you. He said, I'm listening. He said, this man is deserving his servant is dying. He deserves that you come and do this miracle. Jesus says, mm -hmm. Then they went on to say, He loves our nation. He loves this nation so much. He said, mm -hmm. Then he said, He built as a temple. Jesus says, Let's go. No. 
the moment he mentioned he built a temple for us jesus says let's go the begging didn't move him he is deserving didn't move him the crying didn't move him the moment they mention he has built us the latest synagogue the latest church building in this city he says let's go there is something about the people who build for god are you with me they are deserving of a miracle all those who build for God, and that's the point the guy was making, they are deserving of a miracle. And anybody in this church who decides to build for God, you deserve a miracle. Amen. You deserve a miracle. Amen. And nothing about you should be destroyed. Not your children, not your servant, not your business. They must live. You are deserving. Why? Because you build for God. You see, those who build for God, they don't die by heart. No, 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 no. They will live long. That's why you will live long. That's why you will live long. And that's why you live long. Amen. Because when something is about to happen, the master will move. When it comes to his temple, oh, do you know, do you know the reason why when Israel was leaving Egypt, the Bible says that they spoiled the Egyptians. Some grace came upon them they picked all their gold and everything and gave it to them. Hey, Moko, Mumaji. They poured everything. They gave them everything they had. And it was not for their consumption. The moment they crossed the Red Sea, God says, build me a house. And by the time God says, build me a house, he's put gold into the pockets of the people. So sometimes some of the things we forget is when God blesses us, we forget the purpose of his blessing. Go ahead and ask Abraham. He said, I will bless you so that you will be what? A blessing. Look at this centurion, a Roman ruler. He loved God. But he couldn't make much noise because of where he's coming from. And he loved the nation. Look at this scenario. The guy went and looked for a land. And bought the land. And got laborers. And got architects. And designed everything. And paid for everything. And completed everything. And handed it over to the Jews that you can worship your God in this place. And these are the kind of people God is going to raise. Some of you have never thought God will do this with you, but some of you, it's coming. Amen. Very soon, some of our branches, some of you will just ask, Pastor, which branch? I just want to build one church. Amen. And you, you will pick a branch and start from the scratch to the end and present the keys. If unbelievers can build things, can build things, we can build better for the kingdom of God. Oh, yes. When I was going to build, I was like a madman. I was looking for land everywhere. That even led me to get 
some powerful lands for the church, which we haven't used yet. We call it Central Village. I was searching for land in the night, going to bush in the night. And they said, this one is for police people. This one is for this lawyer. And no for an answer. I was just moving like crazy man. Until God himself gave us the best place in town. Somebody say amen. amen. So, he took the full cost and built. And they say, Jesus, this one, this one there, he deserves a miracle. There must be somebody here who, for the sake of what you are going to do for the church and the kingdom of God, when it comes to you, when it comes to your matter, your matter, as for you, God says, no way. These are not people who die. These are people we call. These are people who we give all the benefits. These are not people who get cancer. These are people who receive special attention. He was on his way to the guy's house when the guy met him. He said, you don't even need to come to my house. Let me tell you something. When you look into the Bible, you realize that people built somebody like Moses. But Moses built under instruction. Go and build. Go and build. But David did not receive instructions to build. He said, it was in my heart to do it. For so some people, they were given instructions, but people like David, he said, even if you won't let me build, I'll provide the money. That's one thing that has really, really changed me over the years. Write the scriptures down. First Chronicles 28 verse 2. He said, as for me, I had it in my heart to build a house for the rest of the ark of the covenant of the Lord and for the footstool of our God. Oh. Second Chronicles 6, 8. Ooh. But the Lord said unto David, said unto David, my father, for as much as it was in your heart to build a house for me, you did well in that it was in your heart. Some of us will have to start praying and say, Lord, place this thing on my heart. Give me a bedding for this house. A bedding. When we started building, I had one car. It was a BMW. I remember one day, I just jumped into the pulpit. Then the Lord says, this BMW is for cement. I announced it right in the pulpit. I said, come for the keys. We sold that BMW and bought cement. Oh, that week, that month, there was overflow of cement. That's when we started doing the back gallery. The biggest place. Where you, you, the place where you are pouring the cement. A human being can stand in it. And it will engulf him. I sold that car. And then I went and after working for about three months, I went and bought some old lady's car. I said, Pastor Thomas, me we jammed the yemi bro don't kakran kakran. Renault. Then I used it for some time until that one is passed. At a point, almost every single peso that came into my pocket was directed to the church because I was crazy to build a house for God. 
I didn't come here to push you. I came here to just open your eyes. That the people who build for God, they are so special to God. They are so special. And you have to qualify yourself. We give money for so many things. I mean, some of us, the monies we are spent on funeral, monies we are spent in places and things and gadgets and all those things. The money we spend weekly, it's time to turn to the house of God and do something crazy. Crazy. Because today, some of you are going to surprise yourself. You are going to give something that is above your own thinking. Amen. You will do it. Amen. Because we're going to pray shortly. I finished my message. I finished. Don't, don't clap. I finish. Those who build for God, God's attention is on them. The moment he said, he built for us, Jesus stopped everything and was going to the man's house. Why? When he hears, do you know that Jesus was always going to the synagogues? Everywhere he went, he went to the synagogue to preach. He said, my father's house shall be called what? A house of prayer. And God is going to do something marvelous. When Jacob had a vision, when he put his head on the pillow, he said, this place is a strange place. And this is the gate of heaven. We are going to create another gate of heaven. Do you know how many people have been saved through this room? Do you know how many people stand in Jesus' temple in front there and give their life to Christ? The house of God is called the gate of heaven. That is where answers go to heaven. And that is where gifts come. The house of God is an entry point to divinity. That is where people come with all forms of prayers and all kinds of trouble and they get dissolved. Just coming to touch the altar. Many have received their deliverances. You are about to surprise yourself to do what nobody has done. We are not going to do any four by four thing. You saw it yourself. This is an amazing edifice. And God his name must be glorified. Place your hand on your heart. And I want you to speak to God. You want to say, Lord, bring my heart into your house. Lord, speak to me. I want to build for you. I want to arise and build for you. Lord, synchronize my heart with what is going on. Talk to him. Even what you are going to give, come on, talk to him and say, God, lead me. May every fear lead me so I will do what you want me to do. Let the Lord lead you. Let the Lord lead you. Let the Lord lead you. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we give you glory. We will arise and build. We will arise and build. If a Gentile did this, we are more than a Gentile and we can do far better. 
thank you for this hour. We honor you. Holy Spirit, lead me and lead us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Before we this thing is going to be very very spiritual I want you to be in the spirit we need some people who do some crazy things within the next three months the next three months and I would rather say by September ending the people who are going to do crazy things this month August and September can I have the form you have the form I'm going to call the first group of people I just need one I need some crazy people who say I want to be crazy for this building that between today and September ending I want to give 50,000 